The play that I've been writing is called The Web of Anansi, and it is the second part. It's a companion play to a play I wrote about eight, nine years ago um, called The Jewel of a Tale. And in Jewel of a Tale, there's a story about Anansi tricking Tiger into being his riding horse. And so in The Web of Anansi, Tiger's two cubs come to seek revenge on Anansi and steal the book of stories from him uh, to avenge their father. And during the course of the play, Anansi tells them three stories uh, to teach them various lessons, you know, uh, one, the main one being that everything is not what it seems. And, but I also use it to introduce uh, Ifa Santeria Lukumi tradition to kids in a way that is accessible um, because it's something that I became really fascinated with as a grown up. Uh, my heritage, I'm from New Orleans and my ancestors are from Haiti specifically. So uh, I wanted a way to give that to my kids um, and to kids in a way that they could relate to it really easily. I decided to use this concept because I feel like there's not a way to introduce these ideas to kids um, and to introduce the understanding that you know people of color throughout the diaspora had religion before colonization happened um, and that we didn't say that what we did and what we practiced was evil that was an idea that was given to us um, that we we have a moral code that we had a standard uh, that there were uh, grandmother's prayers that we stand on that weren't all based in the traditions we might know and practice now. Um, and that uh, I wanted to be able to let them see the richness of that and how much of that we retain without even realizing that we retain it. Um, and do it in a way that uh, the same way, you know, Bible class is taught to kids now, you know, we turn the stories of, of Moses and Noah and all those things into cute little stories <laughs> so that kids can start to access that information and then they get more detailed as they get older and make decisions about those things. So there's not a lot like that that exists uh, for, for kids. So I wanted to provide that.